For Damon's next level, it's all about the remote control. It's time to upgrade to 2.4 gigahertz. This remote control, of course, is done by Traxxas. I could have gone with a different company, however, this one was just readily available and I got it for a good deal. So it's time to unbox this thing and see what we got. Right here, more stickers, more details. Registration, warranty, and instructions. Let's go ahead and get this open. There it is. Taped on the side. Of course, the receiver box with a much shorter antenna. That's it. And there they are, side by side. The remote control that comes stock with the XL5 series and the remote control that comes stock with the VXL series. Now, as for obvious differences like power and range, I'll be getting into that a little bit right now. I'm just going to go over cosmetic features. Alright, we'll go ahead and start off with the wheels. This one comes with, of course, black chrome with a very fine, nice foam. This one comes with a more ruggedy foam and the wheel itself does come out of the box black. I painted all this silver, so try to ignore that. The trigger for both of these remote controls are identical. Each one has the ability to do 50-50 or 70-30. The steering and throttle trim are pretty much the same, except for this one has the ability to be programmed to control different things depending on what model you have. At the base of these controllers is where the power switch and the programming takes place. The power switches themselves are identical except for the lights. One is red, the other is green. To program this controller, you only have two switches, one for steering, the other for throttle. For this one, you have a menu and a set button. Using the instructions, it shows you exactly how to set up your controller to work with the model you have. Another difference between these two are the batteries. This one does require eight AA's, this one only four AA's. If you're wondering about this, it's just a miniature little instruction manual to help you set your controller up. Now on to the antennas. For the XL5 series, you can tell that these antennas are actually quite long. They do have the nice convenient option to collapse. However, your distance does collapse with the antenna. For the VXL series, it's just really a rubber stub, but it does have the option to fold over. But enough about the differences in the controllers. It's time to move on to the receiver box, because Without them, those don't work. So let's get out the old one by taking out these screws. Okay, those hex screws have been taken care of, so I can take those out. And get the wire guard. Should come right on off. Now it's time for these ones. Okay, the next set of screws have been taken care of. Now, of course, there is the receiver box. Now I have to take it out of this plastic container, which makes it waterproof. I'm pretty sure they glued it to the bottom, so I'm going to have to pry it out gently. Okay, it's not that hard actually. Just got a screwdriver, flathead, and pried it up. They just use double-sided tape. Good to know. Then off to the side. So now we have our old receiver box. Now I just got to undo all these cables 
and take out the antenna. Okay, it's time to go ahead and unplug it. Now, for channel 1, that is always, at least as far as I know for tracks, this is going to be the steering, also known as a servo. So we get that cable out, move that off to the side. Now, for channel 2, that is, of course, for the motor, which is basically the ESC. So there we go. There is the old receiver box. Now let's go ahead and bust out the new one. All right, as for the receiver boxes, they are quite different. For the XL5, you can tell that this antenna is very long. And of course, it has that infamous crystals that they are known for. With the 2.4, the antenna is actually really short compared to the other. Now that does come with this metal tube that's on the end, as well as some silver bear wire sticking out. The instructions say that this should not be altered in any way. Don't cut this and don't bend that. But besides that, pretty much the same. For the antenna straws, as you can see for the XL5, and then <laughs> for the 2.4 gigahertz. Of course they're made of the same materials and they come with the same antenna stub at the end. It's time to go ahead and hook up the new receiver box. So I'm going to go ahead and get the ESC, servo, steering, whatever you want to call it, plug it into two, channel one, if you're wondering why there's two channel ones, each one is for steering. If you have two servos for like the Emacs and all that, that is why you would need to plug in a second servo. And then the second one goes straight into channel two. Simple as that. Now you might have noticed this link button. That is to link this receiver box to the remote control. That's already been done, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Now, I just got to feed the antenna through the waterproof box. Went ahead and I put some double-sided tape. Now I just got to tape it into that waterproof box and start sealing everything back up. Okay, the receiver box is back. Now I just got to go ahead and seal this all up. Okay, I went ahead and tucked all the wires inside the box. Now I just have to put the cable guard back on. All right, antenna I had to tuck in a little bit, but I did do it to how the instructions said it should be done. Just gotta put the cable on. And look at that. <laughs> Rather dinky compared to what it used to be. However, this really needs to be protected. If it gets damaged at all, you're gonna have to get a whole new receiver box. I don't really want to do that. I don't think they sell antennas to replace for the receiver box, so... Yeah, that's rather nice having it that small. As long as it's protected, we're cool, we're cool. Now it's time to go ahead and test everything out. Okay, before I test it out to see if it works, a quick note. On the instructions that tell you everything about programming, warnings, how to install stuff, it does show you that you have to set your profile for the controller to the model you have. Of course, I'm a wrestler. Well, I am now technically a wrestler VXL. Did start off that way, but that's what Damon is now. Anyways, I had to set it to profile too. Besides that, everything has been linked. Everything should work perfectly. So, power on for the remote control. Power on to the motor. Oh yeah. That's rather neat. You can see that the waterproof box has a little clear window. So you can see the 2.4 gigahertz is in sync with the controller. So, does it work? Sure it is. Throttle. There you go. Cool. So that's it. Damon now has 2.4 gigahertz remote control. And that is Damon's level 25 upgrade.